What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. We here with my guy Barbie with geography now, checking out some Australia, states and territories. Explain uh I would usually do this on my other channel, but I believe I had a couple of people a couple of weeks ago uh told me to check out this video as long along with the geography now Australia, which I, I checked that video out months ago. Uh might redo it because I know a little bit more now about Australia, but probably on the other channel. But finna check this out and learn some more about the states and territory. I, I I got an idea. I've been I haven't been practicing, but just with all that I've seen in Australia, I've been learning. I can say that I have been learning. So let's check this out. See what it's about. Hey everybody, so this is going to be a special extra bonus video for you. Heavily requested, the states and territories of Australia. Before we start though, as you guys know, I'm saving up money to buy flight tickets to visit you guys for the next geographies. We got some great submissions from you guys on four continents. There was a guy from Somaliland, Kazakhstan, a girl from Italy. So obviously nice. one way that I make money is to do sponsored videos. As you guys know, I'm kind of selective with the brands that I choose to work with. No more video games. Now I only work with education and geography based brands and I'm happy to announce you probably heard of them the good people at skillshare have reached out and skillshare, decided to sponsor yeah. this video skillshare is a website where you can learn skills pretty simple there are over twenty five thousand <laughs> classes you can take in all fields of expertise and academia and my personal favorite segment if you click on the lifestyle tab they have a languages segment where you can sign up for classes in german spanish korean mm. even this guy teaches finnish stuff like that it's all there <laughs> on the website great for people who just want to either learn a new skill or just quench their curiosity or further their careers less than ten dollars a month premium membership gives you unlimited access to classes and the first people to sign up with the link in in the description of this video will get a free two month trial at the end when of the day skillshare still sharing skills teaching the world great stuff thank you skillshare for reaching out and helping out geography now really appreciate it you guys rock all right so finally let's talk australia i love aussies they're like one of the only few people in the world that can out crazy americans now we kind <laughs> of already explained this in the australia video but let's just kind of recap australia is basically divided into six states and ten federal territories three of which are internal and seven of which are external outlying island territories so I talked to a lot of you guys the Aussie subscribers you helped me write this script and gave me information so I'm gonna kind of just report back what a lot of you guys said and add my research so here we go New South Wales capital Sydney this is the most populous state at about 7 million a little less than oh. a third of all Australians live in this one state and the capital Sydney alone holds about two-thirds of the entire state's population Dang. basically even though this was not the first place that was discovered in Australia by Europeans it's kind of like the first place where the British started colonizing. You know this place, it has all the touristy spots. Mm -hmm. It's super diverse, you'll find a lot of Greeks and Asians and Maltese even and South Africans. Oh, and don't forget Lord Howe Island belongs to them. Lord In the Howe? south it's also home to the highest peak on the mainland, Kosciuszko, and it's also the source of the longest river in the country, the Murray. Uh, according to geography Brad, New South Welshmen love to gamble and it's kind of like a problem. <laughs> like half of all the bars uh -oh. and clubs have slot machines. In general, New South Wales is kind of like the core nucleus business hub. It's like the uppity metropolitan part of Australia. Also, uh, Hugh Jackman and ACDC are from here. Queensland. Okay, I didn't know the ACDC. I knew Hugh Jackman. Uh, didn't know about ACDC. It was on, but continue on, continue on. And capital Brisbane. Uh, I was told sometimes Brisbane. the people here are called banana benders because it's like home of Australia's banana industry. This Dutch Bananas? dude landed in Cape York somewhere, you know, that horn of Australia. Uh, according to Geography Max, it's where the rainforest meets the reef. And it's mm. basically like the playground of Australia, kind of like the Florida, Orlando, you know. They got amazing beaches. Yeah, they got the world that's what famous I've seen. Great barrier reef, great snorkeling. Mm. Just be careful though, because on some of the beaches, you can find box jellyfish, which could kill you in minutes. On top of that, they got a ton of theme parks. And Let's see what theme parks they got. No, but that's see, I knew I would. I knew I wasn't the only one. I was saying that this area do remind me of Florida. I think this would be a cool area. I I can really be familiar with you know because I I've driven around Florida and stuff like that. So I think that's pretty cool. Beaches you can find box jellyfish which could kill you in minutes. On top of that, they got a ton of. Let's see, movie world. I ain't never heard of that. Wet and wild. That sounds familiar. Sea World, Dream World. I have to try these out. I've been to SeaWorld. The other ones there. Wet and Wild kind of look like what we have called Hurricane Harbor. 
theme they look parks, cool. and uh, it even has the tallest building in all of Australia and the Southern Hemisphere, Q1. Southern Q1. Australia, the festival Adelaide. state. Capital Adelaide. Uh, a lot of you guys said this. It's kind of famous for being that place where the guy murdered people and hid body parts in barrels. And the people here eat crows. Which what in the world? Tell me this, Cap. I murdered people and hid body parts in barrels. And the people here eat crows, which is why their AFL like team is the crows. That's what you guys said. I don't... Okay. No, but seriously, what? Adelaide is sometimes called Radelaide. It was voted one of Radelaide. the safest and livable cities in not only just Australia, but the world. Apparently, mm. I was told the best wine also comes from South Australia, Wizard. mostly grown in the Barossa and Clare Valley. It's also known for having like all those salt flats and dry lake beds. Mining mm. is huge out here especially in opal and speaking of which it's also home to cooper petty the underground city cool tasmania what? i ain't never seen that cooper petty speaking of which it's also home to cooper what hold up i mean i'm just i think with my way out of like brisbane all the i pretty much did like walk through videos maybe i need to check out some more you know see some popular destinations within cooper the petty the underground city cool Tasmania, Tasmania, colloquially known as Tassie, capital Hobart. Tassie. This is the only island state out of all the states, and it's made up of like one big island and like 300 smaller islands. I was told Tasmania is kind of like the butt of all the jokes for Australians. They kind of <laughs> treat it as if it's like the West Virginia of Australia. Ooh. According to Geography Kelly, the people are basically apple-eating bogans and two-headed mutants. The word bogan meaning something like hillbillies. <laughs> now, but that's the joke. But in all seriousness, Tasmania is actually a very beautiful place. It's yeah, known it for is its nice. very unique flora and fauna. Of course, you guys all know that they're famous for having the Tasmanian devil, the largest carnivorous marsupial in the world. It used to be the Tasmanian tiger, but they went extinct in the I just, yeah, I actually, uh, if you're watching this, I just did the video about Tasmania, Australia, you know what I'm saying? But they mentioned, I'm like, the Tasmanian tiger? I ain't never heard or seen a Tasmanian tiger. That thing look pretty, that thing pretty, look pretty scary. You ain't gonna lie. It look like a, a dog, like a fox with a possum tail or something like, third, or a Tasmanian devil tail. Sad. I was told they're really like a nice people though, and apparently they make Animals. really good cheese and whiskey. Well, I'm down for that. Victoria, <laughs> the garden state, Melbourne. capital Melbourne, not Melbourne. It is the second most popular <laughs> state after New South Wales, and it is the most densely populated state. It was famous for a gold rush in the 1850s, and it was also famous for the Eureka Stockade. It was like the only armed conflict and fight against the British during colonial times. The biggest thing you guys told me is that this is kind of like the arch nemesis of New South Wales. Ooh. These people fight with New South Wales on like everything. Dang. Cricket, AFL, rugby, <laughs> even dancing like they invented the Melbourne <laughs> Shuffle. Even architecture. To this day, shuffle. Melbourne actually has more skyscrapers than Sydney and they hold the second, third, fourth, mm. and fifth tallest buildings in the country. It's like they didn't even want to give Sydney a chance. Uh, but Basically, Dang. in the capital, Melvin, there's like two different types of people. There's like the hardcore sports <laughs> fanatics or the hipsters. They have a huge cafe culture and like artsy scene with like live music. Otherwise, they also have uh, the 12 Apostles, Phillip oh, Island, where you Phillip can see Island, penguins. Yeah, yeah basically, you get kind of like this artsy coffee drinking, but highly competitive state in Australia. Hey. Western Australia. Dang, this made me be real. I'm, I'm ready for some AFL again and stuff like that. But no. I'm glad I checked most of these out. Adelaide, uh, Brisbane, Melbourne, Sydney, Tasmania, Perth. I didn't check. I think I didn't check all the main spots uh, out. Capital now. Perth. It the, is the, the largest the state places. area wise. It basically just takes up the entire western third of Australia, and it's actually the second largest country subdivision in the world after the Saha Republic in Russia. About ninety-two percent of the population lives just in this little southwest corner where the green what? vegetation is, and out of that group, about seventy-nine percent of whom live in the Perth metropolitan area. Wow. They are the second largest iron ore producer in the world. About forty-six percent of all Australian exports actually come from this state alone geography wow. keith not our keith a different <laughs> said uh the people here are cashed up bogans it's kind of like those you know rich Texan money. oil prospectors you know it was also the site of the famous emu war where australians fought against emus and lost and also home to famous bubblegum pink oh, lake yeah. hillier it's also home to the kimberley region one of the most kimberley. geologically fascinating regions in all of australia rottenness island where you can see those quakas <laughs> the smiling quakas. animal and uh, yeah just really underrated i say check it out why not and now we reach the territories the, the territories. australian capital territory otherwise known as act Kimber. capital of this territory and the entire country canberra, canberra. i will never forgive myself 
Yeah, people people came for me when I said uh, G-Long. I think it was... Uh, I might still pronounce it wrong. G-Long. 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 I'm still pronouncing it long, wrong, probably. But Canberra. That's how they said it in the video. Canberra. Canberra. Y'all came for me on that one. I'm, I'm learning out here. I'm listening to what these videos saying how to pronounce this stuff. That's what's messing me up, I think. For getting it totally wrong in the Australia video. It was so embarrassing. But hey, I'm redeeming myself right now. Canberra. In a nutshell, Canberra. Canberra was built because it was kind of like the middle point between Melbourne and Sydney so that neither could be the capital. And they were just like, let's find a neutral ground. Even though <laughs> geographically, it's a little closer to Sydney. The territory is small, only encompassing about 2,300 square kilometers. It's basically where you oh. see all the government buildings, the parliament building. Building, mm -hmm. which actually looks pretty cool a lot of you guys said the same like thing that. for some like reason that. it is known for having lots of roundabouts people who can't build front fences on their property legal fireworks and legal pornography I I don't even know what to say to that. I mean, that a lot of you guys wrote that, so I guess I just have to report what you said. I mean, they also really? have a zoo, aquarium. The National Gallery is here okay, with a lot of cool that. indigenous cool. Aboriginal art. For some reason, they have a glassworks shop, and you can, like, hunt for truffles with dogs. Okay, sure. Mm. Jervis, or Jarvis <laughs> Bay Territory. Many people Jarvis. don't even really see this as, like, a separate territory because it's kind of like it works with the capital. As the story mm. goes, after Canberra was built, they were kind of like, Oh crap, maybe we should have done this on the coast so that we could have access to the ocean. So in 1915, New South Wales was like, okay, you can have this little peninsula. So then they took it, Jarvis. but then it kind of sucked because the port didn't Jarvis really function Jarvis. that well. And like the train leading up to it couldn't hold heavy freight cargo going up the hill. And now it's just home to like a Navy base with like 400 people. So it mm. actually cooperates with the capital legislatively, but it actually is its own separate territory. I mean, it's super small, but you can still actually do some things here. Like there's uh, whale watching, there's some shops and restaurants. But yeah, that's well, just about it. Small cool. little territory. The Northern Territory. Capital Darwin. Darwin. Now, this is basically the place that Australians are referring to when they say the outback. It is the gateway to all that. I think Darwin is the only place I haven't done. At least like a walkthrough. I don't think I've done Darwin. Interior crazy Australian stuff. Which is weird because I'm Darwin. And TV shows and magazines. Obviously, it's home to the most famous natural landmark, Uluru or Uluru, Ayers I've Rock. There's a lot of other cool natural sites too, like the Mataranka Thermal Pools. And even though it doesn't have the highest population of indigenous Australians, it has the highest population per capita. Somewhere around 10%. Mm. And now the external offshore island territories. Ashmore and Cartier. It's basically a bunch of empty sandbanks and sand islands and coral reefs in the middle of the ocean. In 1974, mm. Australia signed the Memorandum of Understanding. It kind of allows Indonesian fishers to go around the area and fish and go to the islands for shelter and visit grave sites. It is a marine Interest. park. However, it also kind of acts, unfortunately, as like a place for human smuggling. And the government has been kind of monitoring this area for a while. The Australian Antarctic Territory. I mean, technically no capital, but the only place of residency would be Davis Station. And it's actually the largest uh -huh. territorial claim on Antarctica by any nation. Uh, and wow. yeah, basically, you know, uh, research, and scientists. Uh, there was some controversy with some illegal Japanese whaling ships that passed by the area. I mean, what else can I say? I mean, it's, it's Antarctica. You know, you know it, it is. should be cold. Island, there you capital go. Flying Fish Cove. I actually did a video on this Christmas a while ago. Island. Check it out if you want. It's a fascinating island. There's only about 2,000 people, but it's very diverse. Every year, mm. the island experiences a huge crab migration. They even built barricades. I feel like I've seen this on what video? It had to be the Geography Now Australia video. I think I've seen that. But all those crabs. Or it might have been something else. First, every year the island experiences a, lot of a crabs. huge crab migration. They even built barricades and like a bridge that they can use so that they don't get crushed by cars. They are also known for having a former mm. detention center that held asylum seekers. But yeah, it's a pretty cool place off the beaten track. The Cocos or Keeling Island. Capital, Keeling. West Island. They also go by Pulu Panjang. Cocos referring to all the coconut trees that can be found on the island. Mm. And Keeling because it was named after the guy that discovered it. It's made up of 27 coral atolls only two of which are inhabited. Altogether, there are only about 600 people, mostly Malays. They are descended from the workers that were brought over by this Scottish guy who decided to kind of, he was a merchant. He wanted to develop the islands to, for a plantation. The Coral Sea Islands. There is no capital, but the only inhabited island is Willis Island. It only has like Willis. four people on a weather station. Their job is really? to like monitor the weather. Other than that though, the only other thing known about this place is that in 2004, there was like a bunch of protesters that tried to make their own micro nation. It was called the 
Wait, what? Gay and Lesbian Kingdom of the Coral Sea Islands. Even though it wasn't really much of a serious claim and it was just more of like a political statement, it actually gained a lot of publicity. The wow. Heard and McDonald I Islands. Completely uninhabited, but Atlas Cove is kind of like the place where people go to camp out and research. Most Aussies oh. learned that this is the only place in Australia where they have active volcanoes. It's actually closer to Africa and Antarctica than it is to Australia. Freezing cold, peaks covered in ice most of the year, and actually Mawson Peak on Heard Island what? is technically the tallest point in Australia, if you consider it, but yeah. And speaking of which, Mawson Peak on Heard Island actually creates this weird vortex shedding effect on the clouds when they pass oh by. My. But otherwise, yeah, the only living things on the island would be seals and penguins. You actually need permission from the Australian government to even come here because it's a Whoa. nature reserve. It would be a real challenge to come here, but really cool to document it, don't you think? I feel like... I feel like when we see some of these documentaries, they um they might have been here because I've seen like some little Animal Planet type documentaries. This might have been the place they were at. And finally, Norfolk Island, capital Kingston. Kingston. This one is interesting. First of all, they are famous for the Norfolk pine, which grows here. It's even on their flag. They export it a lot, especially to mainland Australia for Christmas time. Second, mm. just like many other places in Australia, it started as a penal colony. Then it was closed down and abandoned. And then the extra mutineers from Pitcairn Mutineers? Island came over and resettled it. There was like 200 of them. So there's kind of like a link between Norfolk and Pitcairn. Amongst that crew were some Polynesians. They mixed in and today there's kind of like a weird fusion British slash Polynesian culture. They even speak their own Creole. And yeah, basically the people on the mm. island today are mostly descended from those mutineers. So that's it. That's all 16 wow. states and territories. However, I do kind of have to mention one more thing. This is probably going to offend some people, but it kind of has to be said. Australia kind of still in a way thinks... New Zealand is, like, still <laughs> theirs. According to Section 6 of the Australia's Constitution Act, it says, The states shall mean such of the colonies of New South Wales, oh, New oh, Zealand, oh, Queensland, Tasmania, Victoria, Western Australia, and South Australia. And they just kind of left it there. But when Kiwis see this, they're like, Ha! Nope! Good luck, you're on your own. In the <laughs> end, Australia is pretty much unlike anywhere else on Earth. I mean, can you imagine what the first European colonists must have thought when they landed on this area? They must have thought it was like a completely different planet. Like what, like hopping pouch animals and like <laughs> duck-billed beaver things? It really is unique, landscape-wise and people-wise. Beautiful people, great culture. Very, Thank you very. for watching this video. I had fun making it. Stay cool, stay tuned. Okay, this was definitely good. This was definitely good. Had learned a lot more. Learned a lot more. And learned that I need to check out Darwin. Gotta check out Darwin. But all in all, uh, I like this breakdown. Y'all let me know. You know, y'all know I'm new to some information. So I, I count on y'all to let me, give me the further information. Make sure it's, it's right. It's right for me. It's right for me. But yeah, I love Australia. Some good stuff. Glad he explained. It's a lot more territories than I thought. You know, uh, state-wise, kind of knew those. Territories, those were new. This pretty much a territory you see on a map. You really can't see them on the map. Those type of things. But I enjoyed this. Uh, that's all I have. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Send down those recommendations. Give this video a thumbs up. Y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.